Let's look at an example of a two-way table problem similar to the one in assessment four. So this one is very similar. The numbers are given a little differently, but the technique you're gonna to use to set up the table is almost exactly the same. So in this problem, it says employment data at a large company reveals that 72% of the workers are married. So that's one of our variables, whether they're married or not, and that 44% are college graduates. So that's gonna be our other variable, whether or not they're college graduates. We're also given that half of the college graduates are married. So we need to find a way to put this all in the table. So the first thing you do is you take your two variables, married, we'll put here, and the values of that variable are yes or no. And then we can also add a total column because that's really useful in problems like this. And then here we'll do college grad, uh, not grade, uh, same thing, yes, no, and total. So now we need to figure out how to fill in the table. 72% of the workers are married. So where do we put that? Well, 72% are married. So this does not say anything about whether they're college graduates or not. So you can assume some of these people are college graduates, some are not, which makes that a total. So we'll put 72 right here for the total for married. 44% are college graduates. So same idea, this 44% are college graduates does not say 44% are college graduates and married or not married, nothing about that. So that is the total for college graduates. Now, the third piece of information, half of the college graduates are married. So half of this 44% would go in the married yes column. And that's how to read this table. This is the total college grads, 44% total, or 44 out of every 100. And half of them are married, which leaves 22. Now, because this problem deals with percentages, we know that the total has to add up to 100%. And so from there, we can fill in the rest of this table just using subtraction. Uh, we know half the college graduates are married, which means the other half are not. 22 plus 22 is 44. Same thing here, 22 plus what is 72? You just subtract and get 50. Here, uh, this total must be 28% because 100 minus 72 is 28. Similarly, this one must be 56. And then check and make sure everything else adds up. If this is 22, subtract that from 28 to get this must be six. And it does work out because 50 plus six is 56. So the table is set up. So now we can answer a couple questions with it. Find the probability the randomly chosen worker is neither married nor a college graduate. So that would be no to married, no to college graduate. We just find that cell. This one is just six. And this is actually percentages, so you could just say 6%. Is married if they are a college graduate. So this is a conditional probability. The if they are a college graduate means you're just looking at this line right here. And actually, I made this problem a little easy because out of the college graduates, there are a total of 44 of those. 22 of them are married, so 22 over 44 is um, works out to 0 0.50 or 50%. Um, I could have made that a little more complicated because this is actually given in the wording up here, but oh well. Uh, the if statement tells me my denominator is going to be the total for that row. So if they are a college graduate, means the denominator is the total for the college grad row is 44. Hope that helps. Any other questions, let me know.